половина воды нету нихуя. Russia is losing the strategic initiative in the war against Ukraine. The Russian armed forces are too weak for serious operations at the front. An associate of the Czechist Igor Strelkov, Z-War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov, openly spoke about this in his blog. The propagandist emphasized that the Russian army today is not capable of either displacing the Ukrainian defense forces from the Kursk region or continuing its offensive on Pokrovsk. Do you understand that we are actually losing the strategic initiative now? The Ukrainian armed forces have invaded Kursk. We don't have the forces to drive the enemy out of there. I always said, why this Kharkiv operation? Why go to Kharkiv from Volchansk? They only wasted their troops. Well, that's having an effect now. The advance on Pokrovsk has also stopped. We don't have the forces now, guys. The strategic scales are starting to tip in favor of our enemy, Kalashnikov said. He also complained about the Putin regime, which, in his words, is unwilling to make the necessary rational decisions. Earlier, it is reported that Kalashnikov predicted catastrophic consequences for Russia if the Kremlin decides on a new wave of mobilization. The Z propagandist is sure that this could end in a revolution. He made attention to the fact that the Russian authorities have already increased the one-time payment to recruits by more than 2 million rubles or about $21,000 at the official exchange rate. Despite this, there are fewer and fewer people willing to participate in the so-called SVO. Meanwhile, the Russian armed forces have developed an acute shortage of manpower at the front due to huge losses. In the first month, the recruit is offered more than 3 million. Guest workers, migrants are welcomed, they are granted citizenship. Everything is flooded with money, loot. What does this mean? Any Western enemy intelligence officer will immediately conclude that there are simply not enough people, that the previous flow of contract soldiers is not enough. He will conclude about the level of losses, about the flow of those now wanting to sign a contract. And this is all a threat, Kalashnikov said. He is sure that the enemies are deliberately pushing the Kremlin to announce a new wave of mobilization in order to cause unrest in the Russian Federation and the collapse of the Putin regime. He is sure that Russia is not ready for a new wave of mobilization. The rear supply is not organized. The Ministry of Defense is in complete disorganization due to mass purges. Under tight security, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday visited a Pennsylvania ammunition factory to thank the workers who are producing one of the most critically needed munitions for his country's fight to fend off Russian ground forces. Representative Matt Cartwright, a Democrat who was among those who met with Zelensky at the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant, said the president had a simple message, thank you. And we need more. The Scranton plant is one of the few facilities in the country to manufacture 155mm artillery shells and has increased production over the past year. Ukraine has already received more than 3 million of them from the U.S. Zelensky said he expressed his gratitude to all the employees at the plant. It is in places like this where you can truly feel that the democratic world can prevail, he wrote on X, thanks to people like these, in Ukraine, in America, and in all partner countries, who work tirelessly to ensure that life is protected. Zelensky's visit kicked off a busy week in the United States.
He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, as he seeks to shore up support for Ukraine.